bet we still ride with them dolphins. I bet we still ride with them dolphins. Hey, bet we still ride with them dolphins. I bet we still ride with them dolphins. Hey. What up is YouTube? What do you do, Kenny Yaks? I don't even know what to call this, man. This ain't about the hurricane. This is Dolphins time, but uh, you could say it's a DWA affiliate. We got um, Tennessee Titans up week one later on the day at one o'clock. Uh, I'll be watching the game with a uh, uh, more to Mary. Shout out to Daryl and them over there. Aqua's going on. But anyway, yeah, this is my uh, week one preview. Like I said, we playing the Tennessee Titans. Um, last three times we played them, I think we won two, but lost one. Uh, seemed like the difference between those three games was the presence of Marcus Mariota. Uh, the one we did lose, we got blown out. It was in Tennessee. Um, the two we won uh, was in Miami uh, three years ago. It was the year before he got drafted, so he wasn't out there then. I think last year he got hurt before he played us, and we want a, a squeak as nail biter, if I remember correctly. And uh, that one we lost, uh, I think it had a lot to do with um, the karma of us releasing Rashard Matthews, even though he was a real contributor for the Dolphins before we let him go. And he went to the Titans, and a lot of times when the Dolphins do that, especially with receivers, they come back and kick our ass and they get the chance. And that's exactly what happened last time. I call those revenge games, and we're usually on the wrong end of them. <laughs> but then when we saw them again, I mean, we uh, we happened to beat them. So we'll see what happens week one. We got uh, it's a one o'clock game. Um, I don't think we have no primetime games this year. That says a lot about what people think the Dolphins going to do expectations-wise, I guess. But uh, anyway, we got... A team with a whole different real look to it. We don't know what we're going to do this year. What we got? There's a couple moves I liked in the offseason, a couple moves that I didn't. Uh, the ones I did, like I like picking up Frank Gore. I like picking up uh, Minka French Patrick in the first round. So that was big. Like the, the Penn State tight end we got. Uh, what's his name? Mike Jacecki. We hope, and he turns out to be like a Gronkowski for us, so we'll see. Um, I didn't like the tight end from Notre Dame draft pick. Um, I don't know what he's going to do for us. Surprised he's even still on the team. He's a blocker, I guess. But I like the running back. We got a the ballot guy from was he from Arizona State, I think. Um, who else did we get? I guess we got the uh, Jerome Baker got a linebacker from Ohio State to go with the other Ohio State linebacker we got starting now, who hopefully remains healthy all year. Rayquan McMillan. Um, hoping Tannehill stays healthy. We ain't in a situation we got to go scrape up a Jay Cutler or somebody like that. It was garbage. Um, I don't know too much about our backup quarterbacks. I'm not too in the preseason. It don't mean too much to me. Um, I hear this David Phil guys is decent. And we got Brock Osweiler, who Adam Gates likes because he worked with before. But that don't mean a lot to me. I don't like him too much, personally. Um, uh, we lost uh, Posse off the of offensive line. I think our O-line still just is what it is. I don't think it's too much better or worse. I have to see otherwise before I get swayed one way or the other on that. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping our defense is, holds up. We lost and Dominic and Sue. Um, decided not to keep him on contract. He's with the Rams now. I didn't like that move too much. But we do got Robert Quinn, who, who I know is a real nice player. We still got my boy Cameron Wade, Killer Cam, out there making noise, I know. Uh, Rashad Jones holding down the back end. I'm wondering how T.J. McDonald does, what position they got him at. It's safety or corner. I um, guess it depends on who wins the cornerback battle on the other side of Xavier and Howard. I'm hoping it was uh, Tankersley or, or um, the guy from Michigan State, was his name, Little, or somebody like that. Either way, I hope they hold it down back there. I think our second day was a little bit of an issue last year in pass coverage. Uh, linebackers as well. I hope for Kiko Alonso has uh, improved in picking up backers at the backfield and covering tight ends when he has to. If he's going to be playing outside linebacker, where I think he, I think he is. Um, on offense at wideout, uh, we still got Kenny Stills out there. We're hoping for a breakout season from Devontae Parker. They used to call him Spider-Man. Uh, we let go of Jarvis Landry. We decided to pay him the money he was asking for. He went to the Cleveland Browns. Um, we'll see how they do. I don't really care about the Browns. I'm a Dolphins fan. 
You know, I live in Ohio. I'm a Dolphins fan. Um, we also still got the, the speech to Jakeem Grant. I'm hoping for big things from him as well. I don't know what the city of Miami football's obsession seems to be with throwing fade routes to the shortest receivers on the team, but both the Dolphins and the Hurricanes seem to like to do that. I'm not sure why, but you know we can get the ball to them, jet sweeps, uh, screens, uh, bubble screens, uh, uh, short slants, quick outs. However, uh, we can get the ball to that guy in space. I think he might do damage. Well, at least I hope so, anyway. But yeah, pretty much shapes up my team, man. Uh, We'll see how we do this season. I ain't got no real score predictions or record predictions because I don't really know what we got. I don't know if really anybody knows what we got for real So we go out there and show what we got. But I've had guys ask me what my stance is on uh, why I am or I ain't boycotting the NFL this year or last year. Um, I don't boycott the NFL. I still watch it even though I am pro Colin Kaepernick and all that he's doing, everything he's done. Um, my stance on boycotting the NFL, I don't think it's hurting the owners, so to speak. I think it will more so hurt the players because football is really their livelihood, whereas the NFL team owners, they got rich first off something else um, in order to be rich enough to buy a team to become an owner in the first place. So I think if you want to hit the owners in the pockets, you should find out what, what else they got rich off first and boycott that. Not the NFL, but that's just my stance. If you know you're doing what you want to do, go ahead and do it. You know, more power to you. So uh, yeah, that's gonna conclude this video for the most part. Um, fans up, go Dolphins, and good luck. I see y'all boys and Harrison's on Kenny. And be back after the game. Holla, Kenny and Chris signing out. Bet we still ride with them dolphins. I bet we still ride with them dolphins. Hey, bet we still ride with them dolphins. I bet we still ride with them dolphins. Hey.